we put our stock bottom end block together with a comp thumper cam, it was a smaller one. It was the only one we were actually able to get. I bought the whole kit, whatever, I'll link it in the description below. So we ran it naturally aspirated on the dyno. Uh, it's around nine to one compression. I didn't actually check it. The heads were milled about 10 thousandths. The block was actually zero decked. I don't know why, it just was. I, I didn't have a deck that came that way. Uh, made best power 38 degrees total timing. Um, 107 degree lobe separation, 506 lift on the intake, 493 on the exhaust, you can look that up. And it actually ended up making 289 to 348 of the tires through a garbage boss hog converter because it was also the only thing I could get at the time. And made pretty good torque from the time the converter actually stalled at around 2200 all the way about to red line. It made over 300 pound feet of torque, which Zach will put a uh, graph up there. Got the carburetor dialed in. I actually blocked the power valve on the primary side. There wasn't a power valve on the secondary side, which we'll get to in a second. But did that intentionally so I could use a boost actuated power valve and have a good baseline to start with. lightest springs in there I measured boost with the dyno under in the intake manifold under the carburetor so there is a little bit of a differentiation from boost above the carburetor to boost below the carburetor um, I don't care about boost above the carburetor at this point as we go up in boost I will care because the ratio of boost above it to below will determine how strong the venturi effect is through the carburetor but at this point it didn't matter so we saw a peak of 3.85 pounds of boost and it fell to about three PSI, but it actually picked up a lot of power. It made 396 and 462 pound feet of torque. I pulled six degrees across the board because if you, when you look at this graph when Zach puts it up, I had a lean spot I wasn't actually able to get rid of. I actually bought a second boost actuated power valve and couldn't put it in the carburetor I had because it didn't have the power valve channel restrictors drilled in the main wells. So I bought a AAD um, secondary metering block so we can fix that. I bought set screws so I can drill and tap it and drill those and use them as jets, essentially the power valve channel restrictors. But for now, that's our A to B comparison, no boost to boost. I pulled six degrees of timing across the board. It was just 93 octane premium pump gas. We didn't get aggressive with it. Now we're gonna turn the boost up a little bit. We're gonna add a second boost actually at bar valve. And you can see the videos. We'll probably post a second video of just idling because a lot of people seem to be interested in that. But that's the rundown for now, and we'll see how much boost it takes.